Good afternoon, Primetime Squad. I hope that everybody is having a wonderful, blessed start to their Monday, to their week. Um, this afternoon, I just wanted to show you guys just a little clip of something that I seen um, a few days ago um, regarding to the Malia Davis case, the four-year-old who has been missing. Um, no matter how you feel about her mother, whom a lot of people are alleging that she may have known um, that her daughter was being abused physically, and maybe other ways as well by her fiance, um, Malia's stepdad, or, you know, may have known something about her disappearance more than she's letting on. But regardless, no matter how you guys feel about this case, this little girl is still missing. And this video that I'm about to play for you is really, really important for anybody who is dating um, even if you're not dating now and maybe dating in the future, it is a very, very strong message for mothers. I need you guys to watch this, share it, like the video, and please, if you are not already subscribed to my YouTube channel, please hit subscribe. Also hit the notification bell so you can receive all notifications when I go live or upload videos. And also don't forget about my other channel called The Hood Table. That's three words. Duh, which is D-A, hood, table. Make sure you go over there to that channel as well and hit subscribe and also hit the notification bell as well. And again, please share this video. And also tonight, we will be going live discussing Malia Davis live tonight. So again, make sure you hit the notification bell. Thank you. So what, what happens next? I know uh, Stephanie's been sort of keeping me in the loop. I know she's been covering it. Oh, yeah, I've been, I've been, yeah. I know. I just want people to just learn. Just, just to learn from this experience. Because I wouldn't wor wish this on my worst enemy. I, I, I wouldn't. You know what I hope? I hope a lot of women can take from this case, you got to do a tremendous, tremendous due diligence in vetting any man that you let around your children. I don't care how handsome he may be. I don't care what bills he can pay. I don't care how good he may be in or out of the bedroom. You got to first make damn sure that that man can be trusted when your back is turned around your children. And if you can't get that assurance, you're better off by yourself. And do you think that, that that's something that this will start the, the conversation on is, you know, teaching uh, or warning other mothers out there, hey, you know, you have to be careful who you get involved with, especially someone that you're going to have around your children. Children, absolutely. But what Absolutely. would you tell those other, other other mothers who may see this story um, and you're, you're going through what you're going through now, other mothers out there uh, with children who may be dating or, or, or dealing with guys, what, what, do you, what do you have to say to them uh, to learn from this situation involving you? No matter what the situation is, your children always come first. Always in anything and everything, they they have to come first. Don't become so comfortable to where you trust that person enough. I mean, I don't even care who it is. It could be your friend or a family relative, anybody. Just 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 make sure that your children are always good.